Installing and using large language models is one thing, evaluating them is completely another, but extremely important. LLM evaluation is necessary because it assesses the model's performance and reliability. It identifies biases and inaccuracies. It also ensures the model is transparent and explainable. It helps to mitigate potential risks and ethical concerns. It also guides model improvements and fine tuning, and it builds trust and confidence in AI system. Evaluating LLMs is crucial to ensure that they are safe, effective, and aligned with human values. Open Compass is an LLM evaluation platform supporting a wide range of models, including Llama 3, Llama 2, Mistral, Intern LM 2, GPT 4, Llama 2, Quen, GLM, Claude, and the list goes on and on. And also, it evaluates these models over 100 plus data sets. And both of these lists are growing rapidly. If you look at the architecture of this open compass, it comprises of three main components Compass Rank, Compass Hub, and Compass Kit. Compass Rank has been significantly enhanced into the leaderboard that now incorporates both open source benchmarks and proprietary benchmarks. This upgrade allows for a more comprehensive evaluation of models across the industry. Compass Hub presents a pioneering benchmark browser interface designed to simplify and expedite the exploration and utilization of an extensive array of benchmarks for researchers and practitioners alike. To enhance the visibility of your own benchmark within the community, we also invite you to contribute by we I mean the Compass uh, Rank and also the Compass Hub because in this hub not only you can submit your own process but you can also contribute to this project which is awesome. And then we have Compass Kit which is a powerful collection of evaluation toolkits specifically tailored for LLMs and LVMs which is the large vision models. It provides an extensive set of tools to assess and measure the performance of these complex models effectively. So this is a quick introduction from the repo. I will also drop the link of this GitHub repo in video's description. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get it installed locally on a Linux system and I will be using Ubuntu and then we will also try out one model and we will evaluate that. So let me quickly take you to my local Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. One of the prerequisites you would need is an Anaconda installed. I already have it. If you don't have it, just search my channel and you should be able to um, see what exactly Anaconda, how to install it. It's fairly easy, not hard at all. And it keeps everything separate and simple. And the best thing is that it comes installed with a lot of good things which you don't have to worry about installing. Let's clear the screen. The first step, let's create a Conda environment. So I'm just calling it open compass and we are using Python 3.10 with PyTorch vision and few other stuff. So let's wait for it to get installed. Should not take too long. Conda has created the environment. Let's quickly activate that in environment. And you will see that it is now shown in the parenthesis. Let's git clone the open compass repo, which I just showed you. And then it is very quick, which is awesome. Let's cd to that open compass cloned repo. And let me clear the screen. And now let's install all the prerequisites from this repo. And the good thing is that due to the Conda environment, it is going to install all of this stuff within that. It won't have any impact on your local installations. So let's wait for this one to get finished. All the prerequisites are done and you can ignore this. Let's clear the environment. Let's quickly do the LST LTR to see what exactly there is. Okay, so everything seems to be correct. And now let's download one of the data set. Let me clear the screen. And I'm just using wget command to download this open compass data from their website. And of course, you can 
use any data set from their repo and there are a lot of stuff there so i believe that is done let me <clears throat> sorry let me quickly verify yep there it is so let's unzip that and i'm just going to unzip it it's going to unzip the whole data set here so let's wait for it to finish that is done let's clear the screen and do ls tr and you will see that now we have this data folder where we have data there is we have all the data set you see gsm 8k and all that stuff and this is another beauty so if you're looking to download what a data set, all the data sets which are very very commonly used there you go and i'll be using it more in my other videos anyway so this is great let me clear the screen and everything is installed and now it is time to evaluate our llms eventually one of the good things about this open compass is that it comes uh, comes with predefined configurations for many models and data sets for example if you want to list down all the available models and data set which you can use for evaluation simply write this command python tools list underscore configs dot by and it is going to give you all the configurations which are quite a lot there you see it's a lot and a lot of them so for example if you want to see how many are there simply maybe do this wcl to word count it so more than thousand so let's clear the screen for example if you want to see maybe what sort of llama stuff is there so maybe just grab the llama and still we have a lot of it so you see we have llama 2 we have llama 7 billion llama 3 and do we have we have this hf llama 3 8 billion so let's try to evaluate this hf llama 3 8 billion on one of the data sets so in order to evaluate llama 3 let's first clear the screen and check what sort of configurations are available for llama 3 with this grep command so you see this is a llama 3 for 8 billion this is i want to do and we have this configuration available here that is good and now let's try to evaluate it and you can of course select any other one if you like maybe you want to go with llama to instruct but let me do the base one so let's clear the screen and this is the command you need to use so here i'm just running this open compass with run.py and the model i have selected is llama 38 billion from hugging face and data set is this eval underscore ppl so you can see that i have started it and it has started its evaluation so let's wait for this one to finish it is going to take a bit of a time So you see it is still running and it is evaluating it a lot of stuff and i'm not sure why it is doing it on cpu because i have the gpu and it is that is why maybe it is taking long time and i selected the gpu cpu, uh, GPU one the commands from their repo so i'm not sure what is the case there anyway so we will wait for it to get finished hopefully it will finish quickly It is still running and you can see that the ETA is just under a minute so hopefully it will finish soon. Okay eventually it finished thankfully it took a bit of a time and it has saved the summary to this text file as you can see and then the whole results in this CSV file. Let me quickly show you this txt file from this directory. There you go so it starts from the top and then different matrices and then some of the stuff this is a raw format so this is what it has done in this format and if i go up 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 so this is what it has done so where is a metric and mode and stuff okay so maybe it is in the csv file let me also quickly show you the csv file as is this is a csv file there you go 
I don't see any data here for some reason. Anyway, so I was expecting there will be some data here, but maybe due to the CPU stuff, GPU stuff, I'm not sure. Anyway, I would check it out as what exactly has happened here. Maybe it is due to the model. Llama 3 might not be yet supported. Anyway, let's try it out then with maybe Llama 2. This is a command I'm going to run. So I'm just using the same data set. But instead of Llama 3, I'm just giving it Llama 7 billion. And I'm also specifying this number of GPUs one and few other hyperparameters like sequence length and stuff. Also some of the tokenizer settings and then device map is auto so that it will use GPU. And let's see, let me run it. It is running again. So let's wait for it to finish and then we will check out what happens with this llama 7 billion even that llama 2 7 billion didn't produce any result as you can see and i have checked the report seems like a common issues with llamas anyway so what i have done is i have instead run it with this hf opt 125 million model and also hf opt 350 million model and I have picked up data um, sets like Sika Gen and Vinograd, PPL, and now you can see that it is using the GPU. So it seems that uh, despite of the fact that the repo says that it works with Llama, but it doesn't work with Llama, as far as I know, maybe I'm not sure, but you can see that now it has offloaded it to GPUs. And there are a lot of examples there, like in the first one, first test because it has splitted it in the first one it has like 14,000 and then uh, it has mapped it to around 10,000 so the, it has even partitioned in uh, into two tasks and it for now it is running on my <clears throat> GPU for the last five minutes so let's see if it finishes quickly then we will check it out but it seems that this one is running because I didn't see these messages on the llamas model Let's wait for a few minutes to see if it works. Took a long time, but eventually it finished. Let me show you the resultant file. There you go. At last, some data. So I think that has that's a saving grace there for this open compass. So it has checked the metric of accuracy, mode is PPL, and this is the model it has checked on, and then this is divider and then this is a vinograd one and the <clears throat> accuracy is this one and similarly let me quickly show this is just a summary let me show you the csv file too so this is a csv file there you go so it has just these data set and this is the accuracy so because i think i have uh, cancelled it in between so maybe that is why it just was managed to put in these two but one thing I have noticed that it took takes long time because I had to pause it like for 20 minutes while it was doing the evaluation. So be ready for it. Um, I will keep checking when Llama models are available. And as soon as that Llama 3 starts working with, I'm going to make another video with Llama 3. But anyway, um, if you can even use it with your custom, custom hugging face models. If you have your own data set, you can try it out. At least you have the engine to do this LLM evaluation, which is a basic purpose. Let me know what do you think if you know of any other similar tool, which is faster, which is which actually works with Llama 3 models, please share it in the comments. I will be <clears throat> very, very in depth. It. And of course, if you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.